Hi, this is Ashley Swartz. I'm here at BTV with SMG, and uh, I'm very, very honored and privileged to have James Patton here, who's a TED Fellow and an interaction designer out of Brooklyn, our hometown. Uh, it just gave a great talk, uh, and we learned a lot about some of the design you were working on, but I would, first of all, like to say hello. Welcome to CES. Hello. Thanks. Glad to be here. Uh, so, James, you know, we've been talking for a few years now about gesture control and sort of the man-machine interface really becoming tactile and the opportunity for brands to interact in a physical way. Um, what you're doing is real with the use of objects. I would like for you to talk about how that creates a new opportunity for brands. Well, I think that, you know, as babies, like the first way that we learn to interact with the world is through the sense of touch. And so it, it's kind of this like channel into our brains that, you know, it is it's sort of not being taken advantage of by things on the web, by you know mobile, you know apps type stuff, all this kind of thing. And so I think that you know if we can start to use this way of interacting with technology, of this way of communicating information, to you know in an advertising context, there's a huge opportunity there in terms of. Um, just kind of engaging with people on a on a more basic, more fundamental level, um, you know, because there's this you know this sense that uh, when you're using a computer, you know, when you're browsing the web, there's a different part of your your brain that's engaged than when you're say grabbing a coffee cup on a table. That's something you don't really have to think about in, in quite the same way. And so, if we can try to take advantage of, of that way that the brain works in order to um, you know give people a richer experience when we're when uh, they're learning about brands, I think that's a huge opportunity. So do you feel that uh, physical and sort of kinetic inter involvement or interactions rather result in more meaningful ones with, with, the human, with human beings in general? And does that, does that create an opportunity for brands to actually have a two-way interaction that is physical as well as creating an opportunity to engage with, with their objects? Yeah, absolutely, and I think there are a couple reasons. One is this is something that's new, and I think people are attracted to the novelty of it. But also because it, uh, you know, it, it engages again with this, with our brains in this like more fundamental way that we don't have to think as much when we're when we're, um, you know, interacting with a computer or with technology in this way. And so, if there's a message that a brand's trying to get across, then the the person who's you know consuming that message can can focus on the interaction. There's an opportunity for it to be playful and still get the message across. So something like a, um, I think Siftio is actually a great example of a, of a product that's, you know, really kind of hit a bullseye in this, in this sort of context, right? Because, you know, there's this, this whole platform that uh, is a digital platform, but it's also a very tactile, very physical, very hands-on thing. It's not a touch screen. There are these objects that you hold in your hand, and that's the key difference, I think, that's really important in terms of, you know, how can we have all the power of a digital experience but still have this, you know, aspect of, of tactility, of tangibility that allows us to, you know, really get engaged in a fundamentally different way. So what's the drawing board when a brand comes to you, like when Christian Louboutin came to you and had this idea or we started working with Barneys, where do you start the ideation process? Where does the genesis begin and how do you actually foster that process of creativity given that it's so new and unique? Well, I think that it the first step is kind of what's the aesthetic you know goal that we want to achieve and then sort of working back from there we always view um, technology as working in service of design never the other way around so we don't want to do something that's that's uh, cool with technology just for technology's sake we want to think more about the experience that we're trying to create first and then work awesome. from there so you know we would start with a brand like that you know just through a Lost brainstorming Day session at first and then uh, you know, we do a lot of, with that brand specifically, we do a lot of uh, collaboration with the creative team at Barney's New York, thinking about, you know, how, how is this, you know, how's Louboutin going to be marketed, particularly, you know, in the context of Barney's, and how can we celebrate that? You know, and in a in a particularly Barney's way, and and Barney's has an amazing creative team that we work with. So, um, you know, it starts with the aesthetic, and then like the brainstorming, and then we work backward till finally we settle. You know, the last thing that we decide is really like, what is the 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 kinetic aspect? What is the interactive aspect? What is how is the technology involved? Awesome. Thanks, James, and thanks for doing so well with all the excitement in the background. Enjoy your week in Vegas. Thank you. Thanks, guys.